Hi everyone, my name is Bona. Thank you so much for joining me live here with Prima tonight. We're going to make a Armour gift bag tonight. I'm really excited to share with you this project. I created two different kinds here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pan you down to my work area and we're gonna get started. So I'm just gonna cover you really quickly here. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're going to create this one tonight right here. Now I got two different kinds here that I want to share with you. This one has a Velcro closure on the top. So you can see I used the armor tags designed by Julie Nutting. This is what it looks like. And then this is it decorated in the front. So I did use two to create this. And then when you open it up here, the Velcro inside is a gift bag. I thought these would be perfect to create for Mother's Day that's coming up. Now I'm really excited about this one because this one here, when you pull out the string here and you open it up, you can fill it in from the inside. You can see that. So you just put the goodies inside there, from there. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to make this one first, the one with the Velcro. And again, the tags that I used are these tags right here. These are, let's see. It's the all more gift tags. What did I do with, oh, here we go. It's the tag pad here. And this one is item number 911195. And they're really adorable. You can see they come in a variety of different colors. Really pretty. I'm going to use the lighter blue one and then also the pink one here. Okay, so for this one, we're going to use the pink one. So I'll put these aside. So we're going to make the bag first. So I'm going to show you how to make the bag. Okay, so this design paper is the 12 by 12 design paper. And this paper is called Princess Papillon. So this is this side right here. It's really pretty butterflies and fairies. And this butterfly collection is designed by Jody Lee. And then this is the other side, just really pretty, has really nice script and butterflies on here. So we're going to cut the bag at 10 and a half by 8 and a half. So I'm going to get my trimmer right here. I'm going to cut it. So we're going to cut 10 and a half. And then we're going to cut this at eight and a half. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a scoreboard and I'm using my Martha Stewart scoreboard here. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's line the paper here. Now we're going to score it at half an inch. Get my phone holder here. So let's score it at half an inch. Then you're going to score it at four inches. Five and a half, and then nine. Okay, and then we're going to turn. And then here we're going to score this at seven. Okay, well, actually, turn it this way because 
you want the top to be on the left side. So this side is actually going to be the bottom. So you're going to score that at seven. Okay, so that's how you make the bag. So we'll put this scoring tool to the side for now. So now we're just going to fold all our scored lines here. I'm just going to use my bone folder. It works really nice with um, double-sided paper because you are going to see both sides. And then we're going to fold the bottom here. Okay, so now you're going to cut this little piece right here out. So you're just going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut this out. And then you're going to cut the slits on the score lines down below. So just cut your slits. Okay. And then just fold this tab right here. I just used some double sided tape. You can use wet adhesive. It just works nice with double sided tape. I'm just going to add some tape here. This is a quarter inch double sided tape. Let's remove this here. And then just fold it down. Okay. And then you're going to fold these in down below. And here I just you can use wet tape, wet glue. I'm just going to use wet glue for now. So I'm just going to add some glue here. I'm going to add some right here. Okay, so you can see that makes the bag. Okay, so now what I do next is I add the tag, the armoire tag. So I'm going to add the pink one here. Let me put this up so you can see that. Now I just cut this, I'm just going to remove this top right here. So just take your scissors and cut that. Okay, and then all I do is just add adhesive to the entire front of the bag. And what I do is I line the bottom of the box or the bag to this part of the armoire. Okay, so you can see I'm just lining it up. Like so. I'm going to do the same thing to the back. So I'm just going to turn it over, add some adhesive. Let's cut this out real quick here. Okay, and then just again line the bottom of the armoire to the bottom of the bag. That will be your guide. Wet glue tends to dry a little bit longer than adding double-sided tape. So if you want it to dry faster, you'd probably want to use double-sided tape. Okay, so that's how you do it. Really easy.
And then we're just going to add a piece of Velcro on the top right here on the inside. So all I do is I just take some of this Velcro. Um, I'm just using these squares and I just cut half of it. You can use the Velcro dots. Those work as well. I just have these on hand. So all I do is just I add it together like so. And I actually cut it in half because I really don't need the entire piece. So I'm just going to cut that in half. I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz scissors here. Okay, and then I'm just going to add it to the bag, like right at the top. Just take this out right here, the other piece. And then this part right here is where I folded the sides. So what I do is I just take my two pointing fingers and I just push it in like this. See how I'm squeezing it in? See how I put a little pressure? I just kind of go up and down the sides a little bit because the design paper is a little bit thicker than normal design paper, um, which I really like because it's very sturdy. So if you're going to place something really heavy in here, it will hold it really nice. And then I just give it a good squeeze and then I just line up the two armors together like that. Okay. See, and then see how it just sits up like that? Really cute. I love these. Okay, so now we're going to decorate it. Okay, so what I'm going to use here is I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to put this is one of the Prima dolls that I use, and this is Megan. Really cute. Oh, actually, oops. Actually, this is Shay. Sorry, I put the wrong girl on the wrong packaging. This is actually, I actually used Shay, this one right here. Okay. So, what I did was I used, um, oh, and that item number for Shay, she is 910433. Now, I used the watercolor paper pad. Julie Netting has these watercolor tag pads, and I use one of these tag pads to stamp her on. And this is item number 910853. And these are really nice because they go really perfect with Julie Netting's um, watercolor pencils. And this is the hair and skin tones. And this is item number 576745. And I really like these because. Um, they're very uh, forgiving when you use watercolor pencils. And I also use this, th these with uh, Prima water brush pens. And this one is item number 580421. And there are two different tips. So you're going to see this one has more of a thicker brush to it. And then you got this one where it's more of a finer tip. Okay, I use the more um, thicker brush a lot, you can see. So we're going to use that one. Okay, and this one here, I already colored her already in, but I'm going to show you on the other one how to color this image in. Okay, so we're just going to paper piece her outfit first. So I stamped her on, again, the coordinating design paper. And this is using the 6x6 six six paper pad. And this is item number 951221. And these work really well with the Prima doll outfits because the image, again, are much smaller than it is on the 12x12. 12 12. So I stamped her on this paper right here. 
and I'm just going to fussy cut this image out. So I'm just going to cut this piece out. So again, I'm using my larger scissors. So again, you don't have to worry so much about getting so exact to the lines because I end up distressing the edges of my images. Just cut that out. And then we're just going to add here it to the image there. Okay. And then when I distress it, I like to use vintage photo distress ink to edge it. So I'm just going to edge it a little bit like so. Okay, and then we're just going to adhere it to Shea here. So we need some craft glue here. And this is by Helmar. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. Okay, and just go ahead and adhere it like that. There we go. She's really cute. And we're going to add some jewelry to her. And I love working with this jewelry. Let's see, what did I do with that? Oh, here we go. It's the Sade in Crystals in the Pearl. And this is item number 911133. Okay. So let's take this out here. So we're going to give her a necklace. And oops, a bracelet. So we have plastic here. So we'll put this necklace on. So I'm just going to add it. You guys can see that. Just putting it to her neck right here. Cute. And then I want to give her a bracelet. So I'm going to use uh, this bracelet right here. But I'm going to trim it a little bit because this is a little bit wide. So I'm just going to give it a little trim. And save the pearls. Don't throw it away. You could make them as earrings or even a ring. I'm just going to use my nails. Usually I use the exacto knife. And we'll just put it here on her wrist. Okay. It's really cute. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to adhere her to the armoire. I'm just going to place her like that, just like I have here. So I'm going to put that here so you can see that. And I'm just going to add some adhesive here. If you want her to be uh, three-dimensional, you can add actually pop dots to the back to give her some dimension if you want. Just add that here. So just, just place it right there. Okay, and then I, to create the little banners right here, 
I just um, hand cut those out of the design paper. So I'm just going to take some of this paper here. All I do is I just cut a piece like so. You can just kind of eyeball the length of how long you want it to be. And then I just cut. And then I make a slit right in the middle. And then I cut at an angle. So, and it makes a little banner here. So I'm going to cut two of them. Cut another piece. I'm going to try to look at the chat if I can. I want to be able to do both. what everyone is talking about. Okay, so let's just go ahead and layer this right here. So I'm just going to place it like so. Just do it like, make the longer piece go down first. So let's add some glue to that. I just put it like right, I still want to show a little bit of her legs, so I'm going to put it like right by, a little bit underneath her skirt, like so, just so it's hanging out a little bit here, and then all I'm going to do is just layer this one on top. like so, just like that, I'm going to have this stick in a little bit more, okay, and then now I'm going to add these chipboard pieces, um, it's from the chipboards in me, really pretty, comes with these really pretty feathers, it has some sequins, and a lot of fun chipboard pieces and ones with sentiments on it as well and this is item number 579081 and I'm going to use the word happy on this one so I'm going to use the word happy so let's take out the backing on this one I'm just going to place it right here. I'm going to put it on the bottom banner. Okay, like so. And then we're going to layer our flowers. Now, I use this really fun trim. Prima has a lot of different colors in this trim. And this one is the Wheat Jute. And this is item number 576875. And you get 200 yards really nice. So I'm just going to take some, I'm just going to unravel, I'm going to measure, I'm just going to unravel some and just cut. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, just wrap it around my hand like so. Just wrapping it. And all I'm going to do is do this. Okay, that's all I'm doing to it. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take another small piece and tie it around. So I'm going to cut another piece. And then I'm just going to tie it. I'm going to tie a knot. It's just going to hold it together. So if I could do this holding this at the same time. I, I do pretty good without my nails. <laughs> With these nails, let's see if I, if I could get it. It'd be a little tricky here. Actually, I think I got it. Yep, 
I got it. Okay. I'm just going to add that on there. And then I'm just going to tighten it up. And now I'm just going to cut an extra piece off. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it down here. I just wanted to peek out a little bit under the flower. So I'm just going to do that. Just about a little pull here. So I'll place that there. Okay. Now I'm going to add this really pretty flower here. And this came from, let's see, where's that pack of flowers? It came from this pack right here, which also came with the leaf. So I'm going to add the leaf as well. I'm going to add this leaf. And this is item number 566432. And I'm going to put that, well, first I'm going to put the leaf underneath first. So let's add this. Place that underneath, like so. And then I'm going to add the flower. It's a really pretty flower. Like so I'm going to place that right there. So you can see how the, the jute is just kind of peeking out a little bit. Cover half these. Let's get that a little bit. Okay. So you can still see her heels. Her heels are still kind of peeking out. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit more flowers. Uh, let's see here. But first, I want to add another chipboard piece to the top. And it's this really cute, these, butter, these birds so pretty. So I'm going to add that to the corner. So let's just take this out. And I'm just going to place it right here, right at the corner, like so. Okay. Actually, you know what? A lot of, let me show you a little trick here. This is actually what I did. Because it's adhesive all the way in the back, and because some of it is actually peeking out of the armoire, I actually removed the entire adhesive. I don't mind if the chipboard is peeking out. It's because I don't want the adhesive to stick to anything else, so I removed the whole thing completely. So let's see if I can get this out with my nails here. So I kind of cut it in half. See how I'm taking that half of that piece off? See how I, I removed it out? So I'm just going to kind of rub it a little bit, like so. And then I'm going to add adhesive. Because that way, this little piece right here won't be sticky if I just left it with the adhesive. So now I'm just going to cover like so. The one that's peeking out, I'm not adding adhesive to. Just the part that's going to adhere to the armor. Okay. So like that. Okay. So you can see how the chipboard's still peeking out. So that's how I, that's my little trick if you want the chipboards to be hanging out to the sides. Okay, so we'll leave it like, let that adhere a little bit. So let's add some more flowers here. I'm going to add this really pretty flower. And this comes from this pack right here. Get all these colors, there's 12 in a pack. It's part of, again, the butterfly collection. And this is item number 580605. So let's adhere that. I'm just going to tuck that right here. Okay. And then we're going to 
add this flower right here. It's a really pretty purple rose. And that comes from this pack. You get a pack of 24. And this item number is 565923. Another little mini roses. So I'm going to add that next to the other flower. So I'm just layering the flowers. Just kind of tuck that in. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more flower, and this is my favorite. This pack, you get 48 of these little pretty flowers here. And this is item number 580667. And I love these. So I'm going to add one, and it comes with these really pretty beads in the center. So I'm going to add a little bit there. Okay, now the butterfly, I actually fussy cut that butterfly for my extra piece from the 12 by 12. You can see there's about what, one, two, three, four, five, six butterflies on this extra piece. So save that because you can fussy cut these out. And that's what I did here. Scissors buried in here. Oh, here it is. So let's cut this out. Let me just fussy cut out this butterfly. These nails tend to get in the way. Okay, I'm just going to edge that a little bit, so just distress it, so I think. And then I kind of just fold it in half to give it dimension. And then I'm going to just add some adhesive. And then we're going to tuck that in here. Okay. Now those little pearl pieces that um, I didn't use that were extra from the bracelet, we're going to use two of them for the doorknobs, okay? I know I'm bad. I use the same scissors, which I shouldn't, but I'm so used to it. Okay, I'm going to use my... I love this tool. This is... By Amy Build. This is the craft knife, and this is item 890964. So I'm just going to take the pearl out here. I just need two. I'm going to use it as a doorknob. So I'm going to place it right on that doorknob. See, this is the part where these nails do come in handy. Okay, and then we'll get the last. Actually, let's scoot it a little bit more. Oops. Let's get that in the center here. Okay. So let me get the last one here. Then I'm going to place that on the other side. Super tiny, but they fit perfectly on that doorknob. So they work perfect. Okay, there you go. So that's the first bag. So, what do you guys think? So, that's how you do that. Okay, so now we're going to make the second one. I could do the second one. No, I love this one because when I was making this and when I opened it up, because you fold the sides, 
I really like how it symbolizes a curtain. You can't see, but I'll show you when I make it. If you can see the sides, it looks like drapes. And that's when I added the trim to cover it. But let's go and make this one, because this one's really fun. So let me just take some of this stuff out of here, just clear it out a little bit. Get some room here. Okay, so let's take our paper again. I'm going to show you how to do that one. So this paper right here, this is another one of the 12 by 12s. This is called Madame Mariposa, which means butterfly in Spanish. So this is this side. And then really pretty teacups. You could fussy cut these out too. This would be really pretty. So we're going to use this one. Okay, so let's get our trimmer. Same measurements as the last one. So let's just cut this out here. Okay, so this is again ten and a half. Ten and a half. Actually, I don't want to cut her out. Hold on. Let me do it upside down. I don't want to cut her off. So I'll do it this way. So put this at ten and a half. And then this is eight and a half. Again, same measurements as last. Okay. So I got those. Let's take our scoreboard again and score. Oops, I'm sorry. I keep hitting that, knocking my webcam. Okay. Because this board is humongous. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. Now, this is why my phone folder is kind of hiding again. Okay, now on the 10 and a half inch side, you're going to score to half an inch. Again, same measurements as the first one we did. So ten and a half, four, five and a half, and nine. And again, the top is going to be on this side right here, the scoreboard, and then you're going to score at seven. So here we go. Let's take this out of here. Go ahead and fold this. So we're just going to fold all these lines here. Again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to cut this out. And so cut that out. And then you're going to cut the slits right here. Okay, so we're going to put this to the side for a second, okay? We're going to take the armoire, okay, and we're going to cut up one of them. So let me just cut the top here.
Okay, now what we're going to do next is let's get our half knife here. Let me just get a ruler here. Okay, I don't know what I did to my ruler, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do without a ruler. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut we're gonna cut a slit on the top, you're gonna cut one in the center, and then you're gonna cut a slit in the bottom. All you're basically gonna do is just follow these lines right here, okay? I wish I could find my ruler. I don't know what I did to it. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm going to try to do this freehand. Oh, here we go. Found it. Okay, so let's just cut the slit. So I'm going to line it in the center so we can get these doors to open. Let's cut a slit. And I'm going to cut one on the top. Again, just follow these lines. Use those as your guide. Just do it really slowly. And then do it to the bottom. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a smaller scoreboard. Okay, this is just a Martha Stewart scoreboard. I'm going to take my bone folder, and if you go at the quarter inch mark, it's going to score. So you're going to start at the top of this door right here, okay? Just point it at the top of the door, score it down. And I'll give you a score line. Okay. Do the same thing. This is at what three and a quarter. Start at the top. Score down. Oops. And I'll score right there. Okay. So let's open this up. And then all we're going to do is kind of fold this back. Be careful folding this back, okay? Just do it very slowly. Just take your time. And then you're going to take your bone folder and just give it a sharper fold. Do the same thing to this side. Okay, so it opens up like that. That's how you get the doors to open up, okay? And then I'm just going to take, this is just a Fiskars 1-8 circle punch. I'm going to punch a hole on these doors. You're just going to punch a hole. Like so. Okay, and that's how you do that. Now you're going to take back your bag, okay? Now what you're going to do is this half inch side right here is going to be on the left side, okay? And what I do is I fold the bottom of this side like this. So I'm just going to fold this like that. Oh, let's see. It's just, yeah, just fold it up like that. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to match the armoire, the bottom of this right here to the bottom of this. Okay, that's going to be my guide. So make sure it's lined up. So I'm going to line that up. So if you fold the sides, you can see it's all lined up. Okay, and then all you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil, okay, I'm just going to take a pencil, and I'm just going to mark it right here. I'm just going to make a slightly 
not mine there. So I'm going to use that as my guide. And then I'm going to mark this. Too. You don't have to make a dark line, just, just a slightly marked line with a pencil. Oops. You have to make sure this is completely pressed down. Otherwise, it's going to be crooked. Okay, so it's going to look like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut that out with your scissors. So cut this out. Or you can use your craft knife, you know, whichever you're comfortable with. check to make sure that it's all lined up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and build the box again for the bag. Let's add our double-sided tape. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to decorate this one, but I definitely wanted to show you how to make this one. this out. This is a little tricky, so just make sure it lays flat. It's completely flat. I just hold it up. It's easier. this up. Let me add my adhesive here. Just adding adhesive to close the bottom. Okay. Looks like this. Okay. So now you're going to do is just your adhesive to this on the sides. Okay. And then again, you're going to use the bottom of this armor tag as your guide to line it with the bottom of the bag. So just line that up. Like so. Just kind of line it up here. Sorry, am I in frame here? Okay. Okay, so it looks like that. Just let it dry a little bit. So that's how that's how you make that. And then I'm gonna add the armor to the back of here. Some glue. Again, you're going to line it up like so. And just let that dry. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing how I did with the other one. I'm just going to kind of squeeze in the sides to make that fold. Okay, but this one, what I did with this one, I did I closed the top actually, so it's actually closed on the top. Now, now you can see here. I don't know if you can see this. As you see me squeezing the sides in, you see how it creates that fold? You see that? 
and see how it kind of looks like a set of curtains. That's how I got that idea of adding the lace. And I loved how it looked. So I'm just going to squeeze that again. And I'm going to close this here. So I'm just going to seal the top. So we just add some adhesive. So I'm going to just cover the top here, this tag. that a good squeeze to seal it. You can use hot glue. It'll probably hold it down faster. So just kind of squeeze that and hold it for a few seconds. No, it's actually it was actually my door that was squeaking. I don't have a cat. That's too funny. <laughs> That's funny. I only have a dog. I just have Princess, my poodle. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze that. So I get a look at the chat while I'm letting this dry, which is kind of nice. That's settled in. See how I use, I close that because the reason why I close that is because I wanted the doors to be the opening for my gift bag. So this is actually going to be the opening to the bag. Okay. And then that's how you make that one. I don't think I have enough time to decorate it, but I pretty much, you, you know, decorate it like I did with these ones right here. And just adding the prima dolls, make it really pretty. So that's how you make these gift bags. And then you're just going to add some of this uh, jute to make it as a closure. So we'll just cut a piece. I don't measure it, I just kind of cut a piece here. And then just run it through the hole here. And then you just tie a knot. And again, I thought these would be perfect for Mother's Day coming up. That would be a cute gift to give to mom, grandma. There you go. That's how you close it. Just add a little twine. And that's it. That's how you make these bags. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight. Really appreciate it. So I'm gonna hit stop record again. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me, and um, I really appreciate sharing you this tutorial on how to create these armor gift bags. I hope you had fun watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, everyone, so much. So I'm going to hit stop record. You, everyone have a good night. And thank you so much. Bye.